pick up some more hay for the bunnies so I'm going to my hay guy I am actually buying all my hay from a local guy he sells small bales for a very reasonable price I am saving quite a few bucks on buying it from him instead of buying it from an actual store going to mobile pay him before I leave. I am completely covered in hay, but that's okay. It smells good.
had to put the chickens in this smaller room because I just couldn't keep the larger area warm enough. So they're in here now and it's... Wow, it's actually 5 degrees still even though it's minus 25 outside. That's good. I brought them some warm berries. Someone in my previous video said that the rats I have in my chicken coop will hurt my chickens, which honestly was a concern for me as well first, but um, then like I said in my last video, they actually ended up killing the huge rat that uh, uh, is probably weighs as much as them. So I'm honestly not very worried. I've seen this tiny little girl She's been chasing uh, mice around, like actually chasing them. And uh, these are little raptors. They're vicious creatures, honestly. They can be really, really mean. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so I am, I'm not worried. They will try to kill anything that looks at them funny. They will try to kill each other sometimes. Uh, I had a rooster who contemplated killing me a couple of times, so... I think they can handle some rats. So what I was going to say before the dogs went absolutely feral over something, there has been a lynx uh, around the property for the past, well, probably since um, fall, because there has been some dead deer <coughs> found around here ever since fall. Then, like a week ago, I found some pretty big paw marks in the snow, and yet in this morning there was actually a dead deer. I'm pretty sure that I could spot... Uh, here you can see the size of the paw. Yeah, no you can't. Well, that's messed up now. There's a big lynx paw. Yep. Tracking. Hey, Gorda! Come! Come, come! <laughs> yes, you're here. Come now! Okay, I think we're gonna walk home now.
as you will. So as you could probably see, there is no longer a winter wonderland here. This is what we would in Finnish call Loskapaska. The temperature rose from minus 25 to around 1 degrees plus in under 48 hours. So that was kind of interesting. Um, but it's gonna get cold again in a few days. So this is just a temporary relief for house heating and such. But it is also a pretty good time to break out the snowshoes and make some trails in the forest because when it then gets cold again and freezes you have some pretty solid trails to walk. So since people really appreciated the ice lanterns in my previous video, uh, here is a alternative for this weather, uh, the snow lanterns. The best weather to make this is just around zero, preferably maybe one or two degrees on the plus side. And my ice lanterns are also still doing well. Uh, despite the warmer weather, they are actually even more beautiful now because of the temperature changes. They have sort of uh, cracked and gotten even more uh, textures. I'll show you at the end, they're really pretty. 